Hey guys, this is Katie Massey Silver over at Royal Appleberry, and what I'm going to do is another um, rebatch old soap video. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole process of how to do it because I already made a video doing that. So for those of you who did not see it, you can go to my videos, my homepage, go to the video section and you can find it there. So I don't know if you guys remember, um, almost a year ago, I made this soap, I think it was about nine months ago, I made this soap called The Daydreamer and I love it this soap and I know you guys are probably like why in the world would you rebatch this well the problem with this soap is I forgot I uh, super fatted it and I super fatted it again so it's very sticky not not even really sticky it just has this weird oily feel to it and it's very spongy and it's been curing forever and it still won't and I tried to use a piece and it just started dripping color so I just said, you know what? I'm going to rebatch into something gorgeous. So what I'm doing is cutting it into little strips, and then I'm going to cut it into little bitty mini pieces, and then um, throw it in a crock pot. So again, I'm not going to go through the whole process of how to rebatch. I just wanted to show you guys which soap I used, and I will show you when I mold it and all that stuff because I got it idea I just hope that I can pull it off hopefully it turns out nice so I'm just taking my cutter because my mom has my shredder so I'm just taking this little hand cutter and just kind of chopping it up into bits and then throw it in the crock pot so while that's melting down I'm going to do another soap um, a lavender soap that I want to take to the craft fair you know this time of year is all about the craft fair so that is what I am doing and this is actually not bad especially when you know the soap is firm enough to be chopped up but still not hard super hard this actually works pretty well so I'm going to do the whole loaf I really really was hoping that this soap would turn into something that was usable but oh, it's not going to so I was really in love with this and again this soap was called the daydreamer now it's called mince meat <laughs> but it smells really good so the fragrance retained everything the color everything on this soap was great except for it just wouldn't set up so you know can't use the soap that won't set up and even i thought well you know i just keep it for myself but it was just too nasty within showering just uh, all the drippy mess that it left i didn't care for so i think this soap will be extremely moisturizing because it has so much oil in it of course, I'm going to add my own additives to it during the rebatch process. And we will go from there. So, I just wanted to show you guys that because I wasn't going to record that. So, you know what? Why in the hell of it not? Why not? Why not? Why not? So, I decided to do so. I won't bore you with all the other mixing and melting down and all that fun stuff. I will just show you when I come back when it's completely melted and blended. All right, guys. See you in a second. Okay, so now I got it all in the crock pot and... It's just at the very beginning stages. I just wanted to come back and show you. So I wanted to know what color this was going to be. And I know I had did, I didn't plan on recoloring it. So I think it's going to be like a slight blue. Which is fine with me. Because it's going to work with the design that I have for it. If it all works out fine. So when this is all melted down and I start whipping it. I'll be back then. Alright guys. So what I plan to do is I have an impression mat that I bought from an Etsy seller. And of course, I had to cut it, and that's the last thing I wanted to do, but oh well, you have to. So, um, I'm going to put my mica on it, and this will go in the um, bottom of my mold. So, this is actually going to be the top of my soap. But that's not all, guys, and that's not all. I do have a plan to do something else. And as you can see, these are in two pieces because the impression mat wasn't long enough. But it will do. It will do. So I'm going to keep doing this and pop that back in there. And my soap is almost ready. It's a few lumps, but I'm not too concerned about those because I can easily beat those out. So I'm just going to pop off some of this extra mica. And Hunter just saved the day because 
as much makeup as I wear, I'm like, why do I not have a wedge sponge, any face sponge of any type? But she had a whole pack, so thank you, Hunter. Thank you. Um, continue to do this. And then I'm going to go over it one more time. When I am done and my soap is ready, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, see you in a second. All right, guys, so now I have my impression mat in there, and I'm going to try to get this soap in here and bang it down. I'm just going to plop it down on there, and then I'll bang it, because I think what would happen if I try to um, just pour it in there, it'll pull up from the impression mat. So, I'm going to get a nice layer. And I do like this blue. This is the blue I kind of expected it to turn. So, happy with that. And, I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. Now, the other part that I was talking about, I was going to do, um, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and put most of this in here. But I better work a little bit faster. Um, the other part is going to have to wait until the soap is cut because I can't do it otherwise. So, I'm going to bang this down, and I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so I gave that a good old-fashioned bang down, and a really, really good one. And, um, the rest, I'm going to go ahead and put in here. And I'm surprised, well, I didn't whip it as much as I normally do, but, um, I'm surprised I don't have a lot more than what I got. And I'm not concerned about the top, which is actually going to be the bottom of this soap, because, um, I'm going to cut it off anyway. So... I don't care what it looks like. I'm not even going to try to texture it. Probably smooth it out a bit, but that's about it. Oh yeah, most of this is going to fit in here, so it is a true three, three pounds because I didn't really whip it much. Oh boy, I have been a busy bee today, y'all. Absolutely a busy bee. I am multitasking. I have... Um this soap and some melt and pour. I got a whole batch of um, melt and pour melting right now. Okay, I'll be right back. So yeah, I got a bunch of melt and pour melting because I'm going to do a slap mold of melt and pour. And this is all I'm going to do for this top or bottom because like I said, this side doesn't matter. So hopefully my other side turned out nice. Because I've never used an impression mat before, but I really want it to. And I thought it would turn out pretty decent, hopefully. So I'm going to turn this like that. I just want to kind of get it a little bit smooth. So when I cut it, it's kind of even. Because I'm going to um, plane the top off, the bottom. I keep saying the top. <laughs> so I'm going to play with this while I got a chance to. I still flew it. So, this is how I rebatch for those of you who've never seen me do it before. And I am very, very pleased with this color because this is actually the color that I was hoping that it would turn, which I already said, but I do like it. I guess I can turn that crock pot off. <laughs> so, that is it, guys. I'm going to let this hang out overnight. Or I might wait until a little bit later on tonight because it's like 7 o'clock, 6.28 now. So maybe in about four hours I'll unmold it. And that way it's still nice and kind of soft. But not too soft where you can't handle it. I just love... Okay, hold guys. Yeah, it's a very nice day today. So people are out. I think this is our last day of nice weather. But, um... Sorry about that. But yeah, um, I love this whip soap, whip rebatch because it is so smooth. It's like, it's like a mousse. I really do like that a lot. So, um, yeah, I think, I think I was going to do another, but I don't remember out of what. But anywho, so guys, that is it. I hope you did enjoy this video. Of course, because it being so short, you will see the cutting. And the rest of me doing what I'm going to do to the remainder, remainder of it once I cut it. But if you do like this so far, please be sure to give a thumbs up. It will greatly, greatly be appreciated. 
And if you would like to help my channel grow, go, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I can't seem to talk. Why? <laughs> so yeah, so guys, until the cutting video, I will see you then, which might be tonight. All right, bye-bye. Hey guys, so I am back with the cutting of this soap. And you guys remember that I had the, um, the, um, impression mat on the bottom but clearly it didn't work because this soap was very very soft and i'm gonna be honest this is two weeks later <laughs> since i made this soap and it just would not set up and i end up just pulling the mat off because i wanted to see well i was getting really impatient and it still wasn't ready so um it's not a total fail because um this was the bottom you can see a little bit of the um I need some more makeup. You can see a little bit of the impression mat on here, but not much. I'm just testing to see how this turns out. If I don't like it, then I can always just do something else. So you can kind of see the design just a little bit. I mean, not a whole lot. And I probably should have just sprayed the top of the alcohol. Yeah, let me do that. So it's not a quite fail because I do have some stamps. And I'm just going to kind of go ahead with what I had planned to do which is use stamps so I'm just gonna keep patting this and I figure it would just be easier to do it beforehand you know and now I'm thinking I should have oh that's way too much I should have wet my sponge instead of my um soap so let's spray that and if my hands are super dry excuse me because I keep washing my hands um, I don't think this is coming out right guys <laughs> so yeah, let's just rub it because I'm getting um, some clumps and smears. I think that'll still be nice. It's not what I thought it was going to be, but it's still going to come out cool looking, I think. Because I was going to just lop the top off, but it's, you know what? Just wait a minute. Kenny, just hold your horse's skull. So I'm glad I did decide to wait because the top is still kind of interesting, kind of. So yeah, what, why it did not work out. Let's talk about that. Because uh, I put far too much liquid in this rebatch. Normally I don't, but I decided to try something new. I tried some yogurt and some sour cream, which of course the soap is going to turn out amazing for your skin. But it was just way too much moisture. And it took a very, very long time for it to dry out. And my impatience. So I think that's what caused all of it not working the way I wanted it to. So, I'm just going to keep rubbing this on. And you can see a bit of the impression mat. It's not as detailed as I thought it was going to be, but it works. And I think these colors are going to be lovely together. And I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to be ready in time for the craft fair, but it is. And I don't know uh, how many of you are from Michigan, but... Um, no, never mind. I always do this because I do videos like around craft fair time. I do so much. Um, that I'm hoping that, um, well, I, I do so much in advance. So by the time you guys see the videos, events that I am at have come and gone. So if any of you happen to make it true to Troy High School the day after Thanksgiving for their elf show craft fair, it'd be great if you swung by. Well, this is past tense. Um, it was nice meeting you <laughs> if you were able to. So here we go. Um, I think that's kind of cool looking. So, I'm going to pop the rest of this back in here. And then we'll cut and see what we got. Should probably move that over there. Alright, so now, I, yeah, I feel like this was the best thing to do. So it is nice and um, dried out now. And I don't, I think the, the inside is still a little bit on the damp side because I heard it. Just slice through there. Oh yeah, that bottom is ugly. Mother cut that off. Definitely so. But so now this is what I plan to do. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Give me a second to set up and then I'll show you guys. Alright, so I bought this um stamp at Michael's the other day. That's the design. I don't know how well this is going to work out, but we're gonna find out together. I figure I do it while this oh gosh. Well, I pushed too hard on that one. <laughs> it did work, but I destroyed the soap. So, <laughs> oh, so much for that one. So, 
Um, well, learner's curve. So let's try that again. I'll be back. Okay, let's try this again without destroying the soap. So, um, from what I learned, you don't have to push very hard. I think I'm going to do this on um, just an angle with gentle hands, not Herculea. All right, there we go. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. So, um, I have these little ones, which I ordered from China. So, I'm going to try those, too. Um, I don't know which one I want to use. So, I've never done this before. So, I still have to remember not to push so hard because it did leave a little deeper of an imprint that I wanted. So, um, I guess I should spray this with something. And I found that, actually, because I rinsed off my first stamp, if you use water, it kind of hears better, but of course I don't have any water in here with me. So, and of course, I'm not going to do all of this on camera because it would just take far too long. So I think once I get them all stamped up, then um, I'll bring you guys back. Oops. Oh, pretty. That one's even nicer than the first one. So, yeah. I like it. I do, I do. Um, now, let me get one that doesn't look as similar. The others. Um, and no, and I got just too much variety. I can't decide. Alright, so give that another spray. Then, a little dusting. Oh, and I switched micas too, because my 24 karat was a little too, um, a little bit chunkier than this one. This one's more of a fine mica. So, and my fingers are sticking to the wood of this. Mm, I think maybe I'll do one here as well. Okay, and off. Alright, so, this is going to take some practice, because I have too much going on there. But that's really pretty! So, I wanted to do the other side as well. I think one side it would just be boarding. So, there you have it. So, when I come back, um, all of these will be done and I'll show you what I'm doing. I am back and this is the next day I was gonna do it all um, when I showed you guys me stamping them but I had so much other stuff to do and I decided to just let these hang out and dry out a little bit more so I have planed them all and I'm very happy with the way they look because I honestly thought this was gonna be a disaster so each one I did a bit differently than the other I did uh, both back and front and you guys saw me do the top and you saw me stamp a few of them but they're not perfect, which that's fine. It actually makes them look better, in my opinion. Um, because it just kind of gives each one a little bit of uniqueness from the other. So, um, I do enjoy the stamping of soaps. I've seen so many of you do it. I'm just like, those are gorgeous. So, uh, those stamps are kind of expensive. <laughs> um, the ones that I had saw online. But these ones that I found, they were actually not expensive at all. The one, the six-pack I got from China... Um, which was on wish.com. I think I paid a dollar plus a dollar shipping and then the big one I showed you guys I got from Michaels for a dollar fifty. It was in their little bin as you go to check out So I didn't stamp the bottoms and they're not perfectly even which you guys know me cutting freehand never will be but Again that just kind of gives each bar its own uniqueness. So I don't mind that and um, Again, this is what you can do when your soaps don't turn out right you just rebatch them and turn them into something else even more gorgeous than before which i did really really oopsies okay <laughs> domino effect which i did really love my um daydreamer but it just wouldn't dry out so and it was never going to because i super fed up the crap out of that soap by mistake 
So, um, yeah, I am very pleased with the outcome. Um, they're going to sit for a little bit longer just because um, where I cut them, they're still a wee bit tacky. But um, I think a couple of days should do. And then they'll be fine. But I do like them. So I do plan to do. Because you know guys. I love like the solid color soaps. But my uh, inner creative monster won't allow me to do solid, <laughs> solid color soaps. But when I see them online. They just look so amazing. So um, I am going to start doing solid color soaps. Because they are very very gorgeous. And I plan to stamp them. Because I do like the stamping on them as well. Um, I haven't given up on my um, embossing mat. Or impression mats. Not at all. Um, I kind of, I was kind of figuring it wasn't going to work too well just because this is a rebatch. It's not cold process. Um, I know it will work better with cold process because cold process is more fluid. This is more fluffy because it's been whipped, but I do like the outcome. So if you guys like these soaps, um, please do be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hello, I am so fucking happy to have you here. I am so glad you found my channel, and if you would like to help my channel grow and become a part of my stinking awesome crew, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It will great be greatly appreciated. All right, guys, so um, that's it. So you've seen me uh, rebatch and whip and stamp, <laughs> which was fun. So um, that's it until the next video. Until then, guys, always be awesome and amazing. Everything you do, always, always, always keep it positive. We want positivity here. No negative stuff. Uh, we get enough of that in our lives, you know. So, oh, and, um, well, I guess it's, it's kind of late to say, but hope you had a great and happy and safe Thanksgiving because this is actually filmed on the day before Thanksgiving, but by the time you guys see it, it'll be after. So, bye-bye.